So now that you've had a chance to discover what trout really eat in a stream and what's available, and you've had a chance to, to watch how you fly fish or how you put a fly on that looks like all of those insects, now we're gonna take a second and learn how to tie a fly. Uh, it's pretty cool and it's pretty easy. When you're tying a fly, you always wanna build from the back to the front of the fly. Most fly tires start at the tail part of the fly and they make it all the way up to the front. Um, so we're gonna try and do a dragonfly today, which is one of my favorites, and it's one that most of you have probably seen before, so it's pretty easy to understand what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can get a good look at how to tie a fly. Let's get started. So we're gonna plan out our fly first. This is gonna be a dragonfly. So I'm thinking about what a dragonfly has. It has that big body, some wings, some legs, and some big eyes. So I'm gonna use a pretty big hook for this fly. And I'm gonna take my forceps or needle nose pliers, and I'm just gonna pinch the barb on this hook down, just smashing it down. And that way, if I accidentally stick it in my finger when I'm tying, I can just pull it right out. It might hurt a little bit, but I can pull it right out. So for my fly, I planned out using some foam for the body. Um, I'm gonna use some feathers for the legs. This is a chicken feather. And I'm gonna use some of these beads for the eyeballs. And I'm gonna use some plastic bag. Plastic bag is gonna be the wings. So let's start off by tying our thread onto our hook. This is just regular white thread. And I'm gonna just put it on my hook by wrapping it around the shank of the hook. And that's gonna lock that thread in. And that'll help keep all my stuff on the hook. So I'm just gonna wrap it up and down a couple times. Next, I'm gonna take my piece of foam and I'm gonna cut a nice long strip of foam because dragonflies have really long bodies. So I want this foam to be nice and long. I'm gonna take this foam and tie it right onto my hook and really lock it down. That looks pretty good. I want it nice and tight so this fly doesn't fall apart when I'm fishing. Next, I'm gonna fold that foam over and tie it back down. And I want this fly to look really buggy. I want it to look just like, or as close as I can get it to look like a dragonfly. So instead of leaving it like that, that kind of looks good. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna go back over the foam and make it look more like a segmented body that a dragonfly has. I'm just using my thread to make those segments that a dragonfly has back there. Kind of cool. A body that looks pretty much like a dragon. Okay, now I'm gonna take that foam and wrap it back a little bit. And now I've got two wings there. Let's see, I'm just gonna take that and tie it right in the middle here, just right down. Turn it, it's pretty cool so far. You'll see what happens with those later. Now I'm gonna take my two feathers. And I'm gonna tie those in right next to the wings. I'll come right on top of that. Just lock all that in. Now I'm gonna take those feathers and I'm going to wrap all the way up. Tie those feathers off. Now I've got some nice buggy legs. We're almost done, believe it or not. Now I'm going to take this foam and come right up over my wings and over my legs. And I'm just going to tie this foam off right on top of the wings and legs. That's going to make my thorax or my body of this fly. Okay. 
Remember those buggy eyes that I wanted to use? I'm gonna use those now. These two little beads that have kind of a cool, shiny look to them, like an insect's eyes might look. Okay, and we are ready to tie a knot so that this doesn't fall apart. And then I'm gonna just kind of trim up anything that looks messy. And then we get to do my favorite part, which is decorate it. Do one more just because it makes me feel better. Okay. So we don't want that to be that long. Let's trim that there. We want our wings to be the same size. So we're gonna come in and most of these wings have a little curve. So I'm gonna try and cut a curve into the wings. And now we can separate them just like a dragonfly has four wings there. We're gonna separate those. You can see it's starting to look cool. And we're gonna take our little black Sharpie here. We're just gonna make it look kind of buggy. Insects aren't one solid co color ever. They always have a bunch of different colors. So I'm just putting some colors on this to make it look buggy. And then it is ready to go fish. There it is, my version of a dragonfly ready to go catch, what, some bass, some trout? I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm happy with that dragonfly.